Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for March 31st through to April 4th. A powerful coronal hole formation at high latitudes of the solar corona has just rotated through the earth facing position and I believe this represents a potential of a significant volcanic eruption or a 7.1 magnitude earthquake during this watch. We're now looking at the Solar Trestle Activity Report via Solon.info and focusing on this significant coronal hole formation on the solar corona which has just moved across the earth facing position. Now this coronal hole is classified as a southern polar coronal hole and it does cover a large region where it begins at 20 degrees south latitude and works its way down to the pole. Now I have isolated a few regions where I feel may be indicative of this significant earthquake or possible volcanic eruption during this watch. We're now looking at the latest solar wind telemetry from ACE and we see some strong movements being recorded on this service over the last 60 hours with the main focus of attention being solar wind density which stayed above 10 protons per cubic centimetre for over 24 hours and at times touching 20 which is of significance. Now solar wind speeds move from 350 to 500 kilometres a second and we also see wild fluctuations in solar wind temperature. We're now looking at the solar wind data a little bit more closely and there are two strong movements that have been recorded. First off, what I believe a weak coronal mass ejection on the Earth's magnetic field at 8800 hours on March 27th. And we saw an increase in solar winds from 350 to 410 kilometers a second and back down. And then shortly after, on the early morning hours of March 28, another increase in solar winds. And this is due to a high speed solar wind stream coming from the coronal hole formation, which was located at this center. Now using the 193 angstrom with solar monitor and focusing on an area of note in the southern hemisphere and I have isolated 33 to 43 degrees south latitude as a main area of concern for this watch and I'll plot a map some regions I feel will be most at risk for this significant earthquake based on solar symmetry as best mapped to the earth. My number one area of concern is for the Kermatic Islands or stretching up towards the South Kermatic Islands and into the North Island of New Zealand. This area has some strong solar symmetry and this will be my number one area of concern for this watch. Now my second area of concern is for a volcanic eruption and there are two volcanoes that fall in this coronal hole formation as mapped from the sun to the earth and these volcanoes are the Piton de la Funes in the Reunion Islands. And the second volcano is the Sierra Hudson which is in South America. And my final area of concern is for South America, more specifically the regions of Las Lagos, Aracania, or Bio Bio Chile. These will be the main areas of concern for this 7.1 magnitude earthquake potential for this watch. Now the rear end of this coronal hole has broken away from the main section and I feel this may be indicative of a strong earthquake, possibly 5.5 to 5.8 in magnitude towards the 52 to 57 degrees south latitude zones. There are three regions I feel best fit this coronal hole formation or rear flank of this coronal hole and they are the Macquarie Islands region, South Sandwich Islands and the South of Africa regions. We're now looking at the global real time ionospheric map and we have had some significant readings over the last four to five days of 16 megahertz and these locations are Antofagasta in Chile, Panama in Central America, Samoa in the South Pacific Islands, Northern and Southern Sumatra across the Krakatau volcano region and a large reading showing up in the Ryukyu Islands in Japan. These are the main readings showing up and these have been quite significant over the last week. We're now looking at the outgoing long wave radiation anomaly. This is showing parts of the globe that may be susceptible of some significant seismic events based on radiation signatures and the areas we're focusing on are shaded in darkish green. Now the main readings showing up for this week are showing up in the Western Pacific and Micronesia. A large reading showing up in Vanuatu. Now all of these readings may be indicative of tropical cyclone development which I may say were all forecasted ahead of time on March 20th on the Solar Watcher website for members and subscribers. There's a large reading showing up in Hawaii, Venezuela, the Southern Atlantic Ocean and just south of South Africa. And there's also a powerful reading showing up just east of Madagascar into the Reunion Islands which is of concern. These have been the main areas of focus in terms of ionospheric anomalies and outgoing long wave radiation anomalies for this watch. We now look at the Australian Pulsation PC3 index where we have back to back readings of 10 registered on the Learmonth station. Now this is indicative of a powerful earthquake potential over the next few days based on these readings and signatures which have proved themselves to be quite accurate in the past. 
And that's my Volcano and Earthquake Watch for March 29, 2012. For more information, please visit my website at solarwatcher.net. Annotations will be added during and at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.